Kirk Hilliard. Hey, it's Rusty Bird. It's the Kirk and Bird Show, and we are here with two of the best to ever do it at Fairfax High School. We got Chase Miller, my dog, and we got Tony Rojas, the all Met Offensive Player of the Year. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you Appreciate for it. Me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, this is going to be a lot of fun. You know, last year we had on um, the Offensive Player of the Year, and Bryce got over 1,000 views. So what can y'all – let's see what y'all can do. What kind of – Chase, you I know, dog, you from around the hood. You I know man, y'all gotta y'all put the word out there and see if y'all can do what Bryce did. All right. Yeah. Uh I mean not yeah, yeah. So so like like Bryce. But look, thank you for joining us. So we're for our audience, Kirk and Bird Show, we love having us high school athletes. We've been doing a lot of work with Prince William County, 757, where we're from. We're trying to give more love to Fairfax and you guys. Are, it's great to have you here. You know, we also had – did you – Chase, you know uh, D- Jordan Dennis? Jordan Dennis. In South uh, Ken- the quarterback yeah. again. You know, I coached him at the YFL. Yeah, we had a, him, a couple of South County kids on last year uh, as well. So, but again, welcome to the show. Uh, Kirk, you want to go ahead on and, and give yeah. us a few plugs, and then we'll get right into it with these guys. Yeah, so for the, the folks in Fairfax County, we're trying to make more – inroads into fairfax county so please subscribe to us the kirk and bird show on youtube we're on um spotify um audible google and then uh if you look at the kirk and bird show we are also on um instagram facebook tiktok so uh do us a quick favor and um subscribe and as i'm um why don't we kick off rusty with um the great season that Fairfax had, um, you know, just almost got to the state title game. And I know you guys were an integral part of that. I hate to bring up the almost got to the state title game, but uh, lost to a tough James Madison team that lost to a nationally ranked, the highest scoring team in the United States in uh, Freedom Woodbridge. But uh, Chase, uh, let's start with you. Talk to us about the great season that Fairfax had. And uh, is one of the best in a long time. Yeah, even though it was my first year there, um, you could tell that the team strived on being one of the best all the way from the beginning of summer workouts. The team really bought into Coach Taylor's plan to and game prep and lifting throughout the summer and being the practice and being the weights on time. And I think like us buying in pretty much got us to the point where we were almost in the States. And yeah, good. No, that's cool. Yeah, it was definitely a, a, a great season. So this you played one year there, but Tony, how long were you in that in, uh, in that program? Have you been yes. in, that, in that program? Yeah, I've been I've been there my whole um, college level. I mean, high school. Four years. School, okay, but but um, yeah, I came in as a freshman, and Coach Taylor came in a year before that. Um, I see before he was the head coach at South Lakes. So he came to us, and um, he just came in with the right mindset, of course, bringing in the coaches like Coach Parker and Coach Harris, the D-line coach, and Coach Reeves. Um, So he just brought, like, a good crew um, that knew what they were doing and super young, so they knew uh, where we were coming from and, like, our challenges. And and they just had a good coaching plan and workouts and obviously bringing in Coach Pannoni, one of the goats in Fairfax County. Mm-hmm. Um, that really helped us in all aspects of winning, even on special teams. And be, since being there, I got the chance, or IMG contacted me, talk, they wanted me to go, but uh-huh. I couldn't. I couldn't just leave uh, the school that gave me their all and the coaches that helped me with my recruitment and knew that I had the potential. So yeah. that's that's my story. Oh, cool. That's all right. Yeah. yeah you know, um, so you guys progressively kept getting better and better. And this, this, I really hadn't heard a lot about Fairfax High School, to be honest, football since Brandon Royster. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I don't know, you guys may not Long even know that ago. name. That was, um, and you may not even have heard of Evan Royster, his younger brother who played at 
Westfield, but he was a star at Penn State and played for the Redskins. But I remember going to see Brandon play at Fairfax. Geez, that was probably 20 years ago. So I guess it was before you were born. But 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 that's when I remember Fairfax having a really strong program. Do, I, I'm going to assume because I didn't go back over all the years. Is this the best uh, season in Fairfax football history? I say yeah, because the year before this year. Uh, our junior year, um, we were uh, we finished uh, nine and two. We were nine and one in the regular season, and then we lost mm-hmm. first round to yeah. West Poe, who we beat in the regular season. Oh so yeah, that's right. That didn't really end well, but this season we just had the players, and we knew how far we could make it. So mm-hmm. okay, yeah. So so so. What were you guys again? Thirteen and one. You can't do much better than that. I mean, and 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 you made it to the. You know, you lost. You only lost to the team that went to the state championship game the year before. Um, but what was it about this year that you guys? Um, so personally, tell me what were the things that you took out of this season playing together and 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 going. I know you have goals and things, but did it? Did, did, did things work out overall for you? Like what you when you were lifting weights in the summer and you were saying, hey, we, you know, we were you we were nine and two. We want to do better. Like as this year go, went on, did you guys feel like you were doing something special? And, and, and were, you, were you getting a chance to enjoy it or did you not just stay focused and did not really appreciate it until maybe later? Um, well, for me, I, I don't know. I didn't really get the experience going nine and two or nine and one and making the playoffs. So like this year for me, it felt special even playing in the playoff game. Cause I didn't get to experience that in prior years. I know, unfortunately, mm-hmm. but I didn't realize like what we were doing until we won the regional championship playing up the trophy. Cause I didn't know it was 20 something, 20 years until Fairfax like won something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You got the excitement that went around that. Um, yeah. How was it with that momentum building? You know, I know you all, I mean, all eyes are on you guys now. You got Huddle and all of the different media outlets. You're in the Washington Post. Um, it must have been exciting. I know y'all have a great game day atmosphere there, but, uh, you know, how, how was that building up, you know, getting into the playoffs and being one of the top teams in the DMV and definitely in Virginia. Um, Tony, how was it for you? Because, you know, you were balancing, you know, what's a huge stage now, which is getting recruited. It used to be you guys got letters and, you know, you went on a trip. There wasn't yeah. a lot going on. But how, how was that managing all that? And you're also in your senior year trying to make your grades and graduate because – that first semester of your senior year is key. Yeah. Your grades and qualifying and going to schools. How was that that trip? I mean, I, I'm thinking it must have been a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun, but it was also a lot of stress, which was um like a misconception to other people because um like going to class and getting text from Coach Taylor to go to the gym to see coaches yeah. uh, day in and day out. That was kind of it was obviously fun, but it got to the point where I was missing stuff in school yeah. and the important stuff. And it sometimes got overwhelmed, overwhelming. And But it was fun. And at the end of the day, I know some people, everyone wants to be in a position I was um, with, like, getting recruited because that's everyone's dreams. And I just got in the position and God gave me the, the chance. So I didn't take it for granted. But doing that, being recruited during school, and I had to take um, – like online classes, uh, basically I had to switch two semesters in a one my senior year. Yeah. Um, if I wanted to graduate and I had to have good grades, so it wasn't easy. But my coaches were always there and my uh, my teachers. So. Yeah. Okay. So w- one thing I know about Chase, and I've heard the same thing about you, Tony, is Chase got wheels. Okay. My man Chase is fast, okay? <laughs> but, but but Tony, I heard you guys were speaking. So, all right, first of all, between the two of you, if we're not, I'm not going to say a 40, if y'all are running the 100, who would win? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Come on, I mean, man. I, I predicted both of you would say me. 
Yeah. <laughs> Probably, yeah. It'd, it'd be pretty easy. Yeah. Well, Chase, you're, you're going to be playing um, slot receiver at the next level. Um, wh- one of the things you know, I was wondering about, Rusty, um, did you guys specialize? Did you play other sports? Because, uh, Chase, I know you're – you know, newer to Fairfax, but did you guys play basketball, track, um, you know, any other sports? Chase, did you play? What, what have you played? Uh, growing up, I used to play baseball until about eighth grade. Uh huh. Until I suffered an arm injury. And so then, since then, I just focused strictly on football. Even through high school, I just focused strictly on football. Yeah. How about you, Tony? Um, so I grew up playing soccer because my, grand- my grandfather always taught me and he always wanted me to like, be my best at soccer so he always trained me but I've always played until uh my freshman year of high school when I was telling my mom that I had to focus on one sport especially if I want to go far I can't be doing multiple because that's hard especially like if you want to train and all that you have to do all around so I quit soccer my so- my freshman year and I started playing soccer I mean football like ankle biters so I'm not sure what grade that is but um I'm guessing it was like Third grade, I started playing football. Yeah. And I've just kept playing. And my Uncle Josh, he's um, – he was always – he told me to just try out when I tried out. And it just – I always fell in love with it. And then uh, I played basketball my junior year – or freshman and junior year in high school. Uh-huh. And I wanted to play this year, but I graduated early, so I didn't get the opportunity. Yeah. Who did you – what youth football program did you play with? Uh, I played at FYC. All my life, but okay. My last year before high school, I went to Reston to play with, uh, yeah, with my boys because I always played up basically. With yeah, uh, and my friends went to Westfield, so I decided to go with my other friends at Reston to play my last year. Okay, all right. What yeah. about you, Chase? No, Chase. Uh, I played like my first five seasons. I played in Dale City Sports Club, and then okay. Uh, I left that to go play travel ball, and it was AYF. I played with Mutiny and then PME. Oh, okay. Okay, cool, cool. Um, now, I know part of uh, – I know what what is big time now. Like, like on basket, in basketball, they have AAU. In, in football now, 7-on-7 seven seven is big. And, Chase, you and my son Justin played 7-on-7 seven seven together uh, going in two – your junior year i think yeah. um so so how 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 was that for you so did you play a lot of seven on seven um and if you did you know what what were your because both of you guys play all over the place in seven on seven what were you what were you more focused more on offense defense or were you just doing both uh i didn't i wasn't a big fan of it because it's not really it doesn't like display what you really are on the field with pads mm-hmm. on and stuff but and that's what Coach Taylor really emphasized. We did it as a team, but he didn't like – like, he always told us, like, it was really useless to go out on our own and do it, like, yeah. the big – like, the big teams or whatever. But, yeah, I listened to him, and I knew myself. It wasn't really, like – I didn't really enjoy it just with no pads. Like, there's no fun. It's just throw <laughs> yeah. the ball up and moss. But, yeah, I didn't really do it as a kid. Yeah. Okay. How about you, Chase? Because you're – you know, slot receiver, you played a little bit of everything. Um, you were out there where you play in multiple positions on seven on seven. What's your thoughts about it? I mean, do you think it's good or bad? Because like Tony said, I, you know, there's some coaches who think it's great, and then there's others who think it's not. I mean, how do you guys – Chase, how do you feel about it? Um, I feel like you can do so many things in seven on seven, but I think it, like, shows, like, how athletic you are, but it's not real football. Everybody, Everybody knows – who everyone is until the pads come on. So I yeah. feel like seven on seven doesn't define you as a player. I feel like what you do in the pads defines you as a player. Yeah. I, you know, for me personally, I think the seven on seven, a lot of people, and we know, you know, will sell it as, oh, it's great for your recruiting. And all that. I, I see seven, the value I see in seven on seven is if you're with your high school team and you guys are working so your quarterback is working with his receivers and you guys are getting timing yeah. same with the defense and that's where i see value but but outside of that you know yeah i i i, I feel y'all all right so let, let so we know you t- what so what um 
were some of the positions you guys played this year. I know you guys were all over the place, but just for our, 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 some of our fans. And Chase, I know when you were at Hilton, you did everything, you know. <laughs> um, but tell us about this year, uh, some of the positions and, and you guys played. Um, and then, you know, whether we, special teams too. Let, let, let us know a little bit about that. Um, for me, I started off as a receiver and then – it turned into it's like I forgot how it came up, but I ended up playing some quarterback. Yeah. And then on the defensive side, played some safety, then went to corner. And then from the special teams, um, I returned kicks. And then for a couple of games, I returned punts as well. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's cool. What about you, uh, Tony? Um, so, Tony, year, I think, wait, wait a minute. I know what you are. Wait a minute. So you hold on extra points and you're a pulling guard, right? <laughs> huh. What? That's what I. Oh wait. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I was uh, what's it called? I'm. A, I was a this year. I was a running back. Yeah. Uh, linebacker, DN, punter, uh, kick return, uh, receiver. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it was a lot. Okay, you did a little Tony, bit. You of hadn't that. played. You hadn't played running back that much before. No, I played. Uh, I played basically all four years, but my sophomore year I was receiver, okay. and this year we had a transfer named Braden, and he was supposed to come for running back, but you know there was some, uh, yeah, so they moved me back to running back, and it was just best for the team, so I got the job done. Okay. All right. So uh, let me know. So we'll, 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 we'll go a little bit more also to, to just overall, like how sports have impacted your life. You, you mentioned the other sports you played, but what would you say, um, who has been one of your biggest influences? It doesn't have to be a sports person, but maybe who's had impact on your life in terms of, you know, you're in sports or in your life. So it could be a coach, a parent, whatever. I don't want to give you what to say, but, but who would you say, uh, Chase has is, is, is played a big role in, in, in your development? Um, I'd probably say my brother because yeah. he was before me. So he pretty much played football. And so I'd, like, watch him throw around the floor with my dad. I'd, I was like, oh, I want to do that. So then I pretty much followed in his footsteps. He's at Howard, right? Yeah, but he's, like, he just entered the transfer portal. Oh, okay, okay. I'm trying to figure out that. What's your so brother's name, much, Chase? Chase, what's your brother's name? Bryce Miller. Bryce, okay. Yep. So I've pretty much been following his footsteps until this last year. Because he didn't okay. get held in this whole four years. Okay. All right, cool. What about you, Tony? Um, besides just, me. Besides me. I'm sure you look at some of my old high school film and just tried to emulate me and, and everything. But go ahead. <laughs> I'd say just the way I grew up. Um, with no dad and just living with my mom and my sisters my whole life. I say my mom, um, just like the inspiration, like, like the why, why I'm doing this, what I do. Yeah. Um, cause how she lived and I knew how much she sacrificed to give me and my family cause we didn't grow up in like very wealthy. So I knew how it was and it's just my motivation to keep going and to give back. That's great. Hey, that's awesome. We share that in common. I, I I was a single parent household, grew up with my mom and I had four older sisters and they're so much older that I, I basically grew up with um, my youngest older sister and my mom. And that's an yeah. interesting dynamic for a young man to grow up in. You know, Rusty has a brother, uh, Melendez, who played linebacker at Virginia Tech. And it's just, it, it's one of those clubs, man, when you grow up, and you're the sole male in the house. I was my, my mom was uh, a single mom for many yep. years, and I was the man of oldest yeah. person in the house. And yeah. there, I think, yeah, that's what helped me become like the man I am today. Really, yeah. just being the man of the house the whole time with my mom and my sister, because my other sister lived with my grandparents mostly. But um, yeah, that being told, or my mom was told when she was younger, she couldn't, she wasn't going to be able to walk anymore because she's gotten fifty surgeries on her leg in total. So, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, that's just what's been pushing me, really. Good. Okay. What's your mom's name, Tony? Daniela Rojas. Daniela. All right. Yeah. Hats off to Daniela. All right. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Do you guys have um, 
in, in sports, do you have any like favorite team or athlete? And, and, and maybe it's not even in, in football. Man. Like, you know, I, some people I know just be like Michael Jordan and that's it. But like, <laughs> do you have a favorite team or athlete that, that you kind of look up to and, and, or try to emulate? Yeah. Chase? Uh, um, Cooper Cup. Had to go okay. Cooper. He's a man. Yeah. For me, I don't. I don't think I have the I have the jersey here, but I, for me it was Walter Payton. You know, growing up, I, I, I was a running back, and I I, I just I, I loved the, his style of running, and that made me love the Bears and, and so on. Um, what about you? Uh, besides me, Tony. You know. <laughs> uh, I'd say I didn't really have like a. Well, obviously Cam Newton was my favorite uh, NFL player growing up when he mm -hmm. had like the Superman and all that. Um, yeah, Panthers, but that was my son. Yeah. Um, what's it called? Yeah, but right now I say just like me looking forward and just like idolizing someone's game. I say it's Michael Parsons, obviously, because he came here to Penn State, and yeah. obviously that means I can do something here. Um, and just watching how he plays, and yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. What about the other pro teams? Like you know, NFL. Are are y'all local? Because sometimes, um. Parents may be from a certain area, and you may have that lineage. But Chase, are you Commanders, Redskins type of uh, fan, or who, who do you root for? Basketball, or you know, just the, the the sports that you root to? Who are your teams? Uh, I don't know if I have a team. I I don't know. Pretty much wherever Tom Brady goes, I root for. Warrants. <laughs> I'd say Go for me. I have I have the. Uh, the Wizards and the the Commanders. I've always been a fan. No matter what, I believe that we'll be we'll be up soon. So, okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad you got faith in them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. I'm a, I'm a, I, I am a, a Chicago Bears. I like the Steelers too. But uh, and then I grew we grew up in the Magic Bird Jordan era. But I was a Magic Johnson fan. So that's that's my man. Okay. Oh, and in baseball, Cal Ripken, because the Orioles were our closest team. Yeah, uh, my favorite NBA player right now is John Moran, hundred percent. John Moran. Oh yeah. Now, now was, nowadays, LeBron, like his dad, John Moran's dad, gets more attention to him. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So, all right. Um, so, look, this is part of our show we want to get to know a little bit more about you guys but even outside of, of sports even more uh I, we I, I do this sometimes when I interview people in my jobs and like okay you've told me everything you know and you do with your work I see your resume and you like budgeting and money whatever because that's what at the area I work in but I want to know what do you do when you're not doing football when you're not doing sports what 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 do you guys like? And I'm not I don't know. Maybe maybe you're into you know Madden or PlayStation or whatever. Like, but what do you do if once you're finished your training, once you're finished your studies, what what does Chase and what does Tony like to do outside of sports? Well, as of I right think now, we share the most we share the most common things, really. But Chase ahead, say what's that? Yo, you a TikToker, Chase? Yelling when we die in Call of Duty. <sighs> What's that? We yell when we die in Call of Duty. So Call of Duty right now. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Right okay. Now. Yeah, that's our that's our go to uh, after our um, our workouts and all that. Yeah, man. Video games are so different than when we were kids because y'all can be at your individual homes playing. People, I know my son like playing. Man, if Kirk and I wanted to play, okay, Kirk, I'm going to your house or you're coming to mine. You know, but no, that's cool. <laughs> Call of Duty. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. Yep. What about um, you know, we all seem to escape in entertainment away from sports, you know, and uh, it could be you guys have a lot of choices. We had television and the big screen. That was it. And and television, our television only had four channels. Yeah, maybe five. We're ancient, but and at midnight. The channels just went off, and then you just hear yeah. the national anthem, the flag. So it was did you guys? Around. Did you guys have the GameCube when you were your age? Oh, really? Well, no, yeah, no, the no. GameCube. No, we. So we're so old. We were when Atari first came out. We were like in sixth or seventh grade. So we had Atari, 
Then we had Nintendo. No, what, what was no? It was Atari. Was Nintendo next? The I'm big not one. Video game. I'm not Sega video game Genesis. Player. Then yeah. it was the the Cube and and all those. Yeah. So that was a part of our growing up. Yes. In I, college, I, I, still, I, think I still we, have. Yeah. So you my got cube. I still got a cube at home. Yeah. Paul, I got this one. Hold on. Did y'all ever have a Wii? Yes. yes. Yeah. We sports. We sports. We sports. My pull, kids pull, had it. Pull muscles. Pull muscles. Got hurt. We, we was the joint for like yeah. two years, then it just went away. It was. Uh, I, it, the I iPod. It Remember the iPod? It was the oh, creature of the iPhone. You don't even hear of it anymore. That was the <laughs> right. But the reason why I ask is, you know, older folks, we consume our media and entertainment in very traditional ways. And when I talk to high school kids, it's just totally different where you guys are getting things to just occupy your brain. It could be a television show. It could be somebody that does TikTok videos. Chase, I mean, what, what, do you have a go-to? Like, do you stream or you watch stuff on YouTube or how does that work? Discord server? Oh, besides our show every day. Right. Now. <laughs> okay. Um, I'd probably just like watch YouTube find something on youtube distracts me yep. this past week i've been watching outer banks on netflix oh you watch outer banks okay so oh wait, hold. We're, you're leading to our next question our next question all right kirk you can ask no, I, well, what are you streaming now what are you watching like i know you guys uh you know there's different things but i actually i actually stream on twitch for when I uh, when I play Twitch? with Chase sometimes, yeah. Hey, hey, bro. Let me just tell you, you gotta be careful what you say on Twitch, especially nah, since you get. Right. Did you hear about what's the guy, the uh, the basketball player, and some other guys like a race car driver? They said some things they you know that were not politically correct, and it really impacted. So you gotta be careful. Twitch is yeah. fun, and everybody's watching, but you just gotta watch what you say. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wait, hold on, hold on. So, um, like a mini series. Like anything, you, like you're that. watching Outer Banks. Do y'all watch like Last Chance? You did y'all watch okay. Tiger King? Pan, when the pandemic hit and you couldn't go anywhere, what did you do? All American. Oh, oh, that's bad, man. Oh no, 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 no! Let me just tell you, I, King or I hold on. I tried to watch All American with my boys. Now they keep watching, but let me tell you something. I, I got so tired of it. Was first of all the acting. There was those is bad, but the act, those kids have no athleticism. They can't play football. They can't throw a football. They can't catch. It's just drama. What I made my sons do was go back and we watched Friday Night Lights. Friday Night Lights is all. Awesome. Watch the TV show, not the movie. The TV show Friday Night Lights, because that the drama is the drama, which is still it's pretty good. But they got better like scenes and athletic moves and, and plays. So have y'all ever seen Friday Night Lights? Oh, oh it's getting old, man. Go back. That's over that's like 20 years old now, Rusty. So yeah. Just go back and watch it, it is timeless. Right uh, uh, with Riggins, the running back. And, oh gosh. Hey go I just go want to ask that. these guys. I want to ask these guys one quick thing. There's a guy that I picked up on. You know how when you watch the videos they, they learn the artificial intelligence figures out what you like to watch and they keep feeding you stuff whether it be youtube shorts or facebook shorts or whatever but how about the dude that's in new york that's always like don't ever disrespect me looking like such and such and such walking down the street you guys heard of that guy hmm. oh man no because they don't get old people feeds okay <laughs> like you said the algorithm doesn't go there i thought right. i was setting that up for something new no now. no no you I, I know the the cooler things but i won't go there so look guys what about Movies. Do you guys have any movies that you over the years that you've liked? Or do you have a favorite movie? And it doesn't have to be a sports movie, but if it is, what 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 is, what, are, what, are, what do you like? What have you liked, or what is your favorite movie? Ooh, that's a good question. I said my favorite movie is Home Alone. Oh, that's a I've, classic. Yeah, I've always loved Home Alone. Or I'd say The Blind Side. I really like. Okay. Did y'all yeah. have y'all ever seen Remember like, the Titans? Oh yeah. yeah. We played that. Oh, actually, yeah, we did. Yeah, TC. Well, Alexandria yeah. City now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No okay. Scarface, Chase, nothing like that? Scarface? Yeah, just an old classic. Yeah. You, 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 everybody's got a go-to. Like, I watch 
I'll watch 30 minutes of Forrest Gump every single time it's on, you know, it's on over and over again. And uh, I like remember the Titans, you know, Shawshank. Shawshank, Shawshank's a good one. And then uh, Heat. I don't know if you've ever seen Heat about the bank robbers in L.A. That's a good one. But uh, uh, so you don't chase no favorite go to. Hey, hold, hold. Have y'all ever seen? We grew up with Rocky. Have y'all ever seen the Creed movies? Uh, I saw the second one. Okay. I know there's a How you see the second one and not see the first one. Oh, come on. You I will gotta say, at least... I will say my favorite show growing up was WWE. That was my favorite. Okay. Okay. Yeah. WWE. Um, yeah. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite uh, wrestler? Roman Reigns. Okay. Undertaker. Or 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 Rey Undertaker. Mysterio. Okay. Yeah. All right. Or I'm Brock watching Lesnar Suplex. I watch Young Rock, and um, I what I like is when he goes back and talks about growing up and his dad Rocky being a wrestler because those were the wrestlers I I used to like as a kid. You know the ones that when he was a kid his dad was a part of. So Tony Atlas. I didn't. Uh, Hulk the Hogan was okay. The Sheik. Oh, the Sheik. Yeah, and I met him one time in a Walmart. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> hey, Rusty, this is another look into people's souls. Is if you if you had to pick, what's your favorite fast food, and then follow by what's your favorite food overall? Um, so if you have a no, no, don't even go, no. This is this model of a questionnaire. You got to eat one fast food for the rest of your life. What what restaurant and what would be your food? Chick fil A. Chick fil A. That's oh! crazy, man. Chick fil A sandwiches and sweet tea all the way. Chick fil A, the deluxe, the deluxe sandwich. Yeah, that's healthier. That's too healthy. Yeah, yeah. Well, hold on, hold no, on. it's just okay. the deluxe. The deluxe just adds lettuce and tomato on it. Right, that's and, too healthy. And, yes. Oh, it's not grilled. Okay, but but look, okay, let me. Okay, so Chick fil A, and that's cool. I get it. But if you got to wait in that line every day, I don't know. All right. What about you, Kirk? Oh, I said Chick-fil-A. I'd say Chick-fil-A. And I'd say my overall favorite food is uh, seafood. You know, Yeah, my favorite food is seafood. But you know what we don't have around here? Um, but I like cookout. Um, whenever mm. I, I'm around a cookout, because I like the shakes. And that's the only place you can, I can really get, like, the barbecue. When they I'm just they just added one in near us. In Man- yeah, in Manassas. Yeah. They sure did. Yep. yep. Yeah. They have a couple, like, in Fredericksburg and all that. Okay. All right. So now we got we got another question we like to ask folks now. Two, two, two ones first. We'll start with the What kind of music? If, if What's on your playlist? What, if, if you just to turn it on right now, what would, we, what would you be grooving to? There's a. Yeah, there's a. Oh, there's, there's two type of like, or not like there's two type of music I listen to. There's rap, which is like, uh, young boy, low baby, and them, and then I have a different side of me, which is like SZA, like soft R and B, basically. Okay, cool. I, I, I feel cool because I recognize some of those names. That's not bad. <laughs> How about you, Chase? Uh, same thing with me. Um, like for pregames, I listen to like Young Boy. Little baby, that type of stuff. But then on my other, like when I'm like driving to like school, school or whatever, it's like Drake, SZA, The Weeknd. Okay, like that. yeah, that's the thing. No, we're old school, right? So I grew up with we grew up with Run DMC and 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 all those like I, even. But when I I played flag football for you know the last twenty years, well, and I think you might have said it, Chase, but like I had. Me and my boy Russell, we, I would we would play Run DMC on the way to the games, and we would blast it, and we we were just getting hype. What do you, would you have one specific hype song, or do you just have a few as a certain artist? And it, you know, is there one song if you're playing sports like you get you, and it doesn't have to be crazy. It could be something to keep you mellow. What what was did you say you said your chase? What did, do you have? Um, well, it's like, it's like, with me, it's like weird. So throughout the day, I have like some cool in the gang. Oh, oh yeah. And then before the game is when I like use young boy and little baby, but okay. like pregame, um, uh, like the song is probably Kamikaze by young boy. All okay. Right. What about you, Tom? I say, yeah, throughout the day, I try to listen to most hype music, like DMV music or, um, just rap, hard to rap. But pregame, uh, every song, like, 
I played before was Chief Keith, like Finetto or uh, Love Sosa, or I played just Dreams and Nightmares by Meek Mill. But okay, yeah, I just try to play some high music because I can't go out with no sad music. Right. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So both of you are seniors. Now, Tony, you're you're up at Penn State. You're getting a head start. But when you guys think about, um, you know, life after college and after sports, if there's a future in sports, because sports always in. What, what are you guys thinking that you want to do every day to give you purpose in life? And you, you got to make a living too. Chase, have you thought about, you know, some people are like, they know they want to be a doctor at 10 years old or like they, they want to be a police officer, which is, you know, a, a very high intensity job, very rewarding. Chase, have you thought about what you want to do? Because I'll tell you, I had no idea at 17. Right now, I want to do something with finance and the reason why I want to be able to be knowledgeable with money and not just spend it on whatever and just like be smart to make sure my family has like a stable income and not like have to worry about anything financially. All right. I'm a finance major. That's a good one, man. I like that. And I'm a senior budget analyst in the state department. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if, Tony. You, if you look for, if you look for an internship, look me up, bro. <laughs> Tony, what about you? Yes, man? Sir. I say, uh, for me, I've always wanted to be a coach in college, the college level. Oh, cool. And I think, yeah, I think Penn State will give me the opportunity to because yeah. our coaches are mostly alumni base. Mm -hmm. And they they play, they either played at Penn State or yep. they had some type of connection, but most of them played at Penn State. And I'd say that and just, yeah, what Chase said, just have an opportunity to um, just, not, just not live how I used to, how I did when I was younger, really. And Mm -hmm. um, just trying to live my own life and with my family. Yep. Cool. Uh, well, that leads us into our last question. And, uh, and that is, you don't have to worry about money anymore because you just won $5 billion. Big, I didn't say, billion, I didn't billion. say million. I said billion. You can do just about anything with $5 billion. But what are some of the, what do you think you would like to do? Which, means you can do like i said almost anything what would you do with five billion dollars mm, i'd probably i'd take care of my parents first i'd give them money to pay off whatever taxes they have buy my mom her little yellow pickup truck she want like she's always wanted and then whatever my dad wants and then put some in my retirement fund and buy some land and build a house on there where where would the <laughs> land be, Chase? You you dude, you're 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 worth five billion dollars. I mean, you could have <laughs> any, you want it in Montana? Do you want it out in the mountains of Virginia? Do you want some in the Caribbean? I mean, think big, man. Five billion dollars. You got your plane, you can probably buy a baseball team. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably have it like not in California. They'll pay they have too much money. Too much taxes. Maybe Florida, maybe Florida. Florida. Okay. Now, Florida, there you go. Thank Florida you. doesn't have, as you have $5 billion, you still want to work and make money, some, increase that money, and they don't have state income tax. That's a good place. What about you, Tom? What about you, Kirk? Oh, man, what would you do with $5 billion? Oh, I'm sorry. So I always say I would do the obligatory stuff. You know, you got to think about 10% of $500 million is $50 million bucks. So if you just buy 5% municipal bonds, you're going to be making three or $4 million a year. So I always say that I would buy the normal material things. Um, an airplane would be big because I hate flying commercially, but I would do experiences, man. I would be at every final four. You know, I would be at all the world series, all the super bowls. I would be at the masters. The masters is coming up NCAA final four. You know, I'd have courtside seats, uh, you know, at a, at a bunch of places, but you know, a lot of, a lot of good experiences uh, is what I would, and, and I'd have, you know, probably multiple homes, but I've always lived in Virginia. So my primary residence would be in Virginia. Um, I've always wanted a retirement place in Blacksburg where I went to school, but yeah, I mean, uh, and by the way, I'd give away almost all of it because I mean, g give me a, a few million bucks and I could live off of it easily. So that's my story. Okay. Yeah. I would, uh, buy a professional team and you can get a I can get a basketball team in the arena for about two or three 
billion. Um, but right now, if I had it, I'd find ways to get some partners and we'd go ahead on and buy the commanders. Okay. And I would get you guys on the squad. Okay. <laughs> well said. Yeah. yeah. And I'd like and and um and 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 we would build that stadium somewhere in Virginia. DC, you gotta build in DC, man. No, no. DC is hard to get in and out of. No, 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 no. DC, nope. If Virginia, we, they're gonna practice. They already practice here, but I'm in they the belong headquarters. In DC. They belong in DC. No, no, they don't. DC is hard. Should the no. Washington Redskins or Washington Commanders be in DC, Virginia, or Maryland? Uh, Y'all probably never been to RFK because they're talking no. about right beside RFK, which is uh, just east of the capital. But, but it's hard to get in and out of there. It'd be way overpriced to build it there. You yeah. can't see it off the highway. I would put it somewhere. Now, they were talking about putting it here in Woodbridge, um, you know, right over there, um, Chase, not far from the um, Horner Road exit and the um, and all of that. You could see it like over there near the Occoquan area. Uh, I, I don't know if I'd want it there because that's a big traffic jam place. Okay. But somewhere where people can maybe see it off of 95, like you do when you're going through Landover, um, you know, uh, and, and make it accessible in and off the highway. I, 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 we'd have to get the infrastructure all redone. But that, that would be a plan. But uh, but guys, this has been so much fun. Look, do you have anything you want to promote? You want to give a shout out to somebody, you know, some coach, some girl. We don't do any girls because then there's a girl that thought she was your girlfriend, but it's this other girl. So you don't have to do that part. But does anybody want to give a shout out to? Shout out to I'm the good. Yeah, really. Oh, yeah, shout out the coaches and uh, the players in our class, bro. Yeah, great year. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, and, and you guys, you got actually your answer wrong on the five billion. The first thing you should have done is said, uh, I'm going to give a billion to the Kirk and Bird show so we can get uh -huh. better production quality in studios and fly you guys in. So, but uh, no, hey, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate you guys joining the show. Um, look, we, we, we wish nothing but the best for you. You're, you're, you're some great young men. I've heard I've been around Chase and his family, but I, I've heard nothing but great things about both of you guys. And I wish you the best um, going forward. If there's anything we can ever do for you to help out, just let us know. But we're, we're pulling away. Like, this is why we exist. We want to give you guys uh, a platform and, and, and for just people to know a little bit more about you. Because, you know, when somebody writes an article about you in the paper, that's cute. But you still got somebody trying to interpret you. And yeah. what they, how they, the picture they want to paint. But hopefully, we've given you guys a chance uh, to just, you know, be yourself. And uh, again, I, I just want to, again, I thank you guys, man. I'm going to be praying for you. I want nothing but the best. And, and football is great. I hope it takes you as far as, it, as you want it to take you. But I think the, for me, one of the biggest things I got out of being a football player was the relationships. The, 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 that lasted long beyond my years on the field and, 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 and inspired our, my love for athletics. And well, we grew up, uh, we grew up in Hampton, Virginia. I played at Bethel. Our arch rival was Hampton. You know, we, 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 we that, that was like, it was a big deal. There was no professional or big time college teams down there. So we really appreciate, um, you know, our time growing up. But I'll let you guys uh, go ahead on and close us out with any of your last thoughts or, or if, if you like. No, I just say thank you for having us and yeah. taking your time out of your day to have us. So I appreciate it. Well, yeah. we don't like doing it. Go ahead, Chase. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Um, I'm pretty much going off what Tony said. Thank you guys for having us. It's an honor to be on the show. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. Our Remember, show does. Chase, when you're the uh, modern day Warren Buffett and, and Tony, if you're the coach of Penn State, you know, remember us. We'll, we'll use some things. But, you know, one thing I would say. Tony, if you're the coach of Penn State, <clears throat> my grandkids, you recruit them, okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right. What's up? It's some advice I would give to myself, honestly, in this event, is put the phone down, put the electronics down, and take in. Like, you're both going to go – you're, you're going to go to school, great places. You're already there, Tony. But take in everything that's to offer there, everything. You know, sports is one thing. The education's big, but just – 
have a great time because life's going to get real serious real fast. So enjoy it. Yes, sir. All Appreciate right. it. All right. Well, thanks again, guys. Hey, look, <clears throat> for Chase Miller, Tony Rojas, Fair, some of Fairfax's finest of all time, uh, and my partner, Kirk Hilliard, this has been the Kirkenberg Show. We are out.